A cluster of earthquakes have started in the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon area related to the uh, Swartzengi volcanic system in the Reckonish Peninsula of Iceland. You can see they're at the depth of the less than one kilometer, most of them. And uh, they're concentrated along that uh, dike that we have and probably the eruption site will be there again. We see the earthquake pattern starting from the early morning, then going toward the uh, uh, eastward as the day progress this is like a wave moving in that uh, direction and this is the movement that actually plate movements accommodating through the strike steep fault lines the movement from one system fault line we call them to the another system but grab and fault lines of the for example the neighboring uh, Fegedesfjall or other ones that are on the map, you can see them here in the Reckonus Peninsula, Eurasia and uh, uh, North American plate. You can see again the cluster was coming and by the midday started and picked up and uh, by the mid-afternoon it finished almost. But what's the significance of this and what it is showing us? We have to look in the data for the uh, land uplift or land uh, rising, swelling. And it shows that we have now almost passed the threshold. This is the Elvdorf, this is the Swartzengi, a finer one. I will show you also that we have almost reached the threshold or passed it. Uh, the Thorbjorn one is interestingly, it doesn't show that. That means before that uh, midday, there was not the uplift from the Swartzengi transferred to the Thorbjorn, which is to the uh, slightly to the south of it. So that means the magma was uh, m not moving laterally. Now we have the evidence that the magma has moved laterally by these earthquakes. We can look at this data. This is an important chart. It shows us how many days passed since the uplift of the land in the sourcing is start until the next eruption. Uh, if you look at that, we have the December one, we have the January 2024 and we have the February. And every time it was five days sooner starting because it started from the higher baseline. So it didn't go completely down the magma uplift. It just uh, stayed at some level. Then again, it started after eruption to, uh, you know, gather magma. And after um, every time after a certain days, for example, 28, 25, and I predict for this time, 20 days, past since the start of the magma accumulation, we will have the next eruption. The red dot at the end of the red line shows what it was just before the morning today. But now with this development, it has really rushed upward. And I predict before the end of the day 20th since the magma accumulation, which makes it 28th of February or earlier even, we may have it even by the weekend, the end of the weekend. We will see anyway. We have to wait and see. The magma movement laterally as it started, and by the 20th of February or earlier, we may have the eruption. What that means is that now today we know, we have the evidence, I showed it to you, the magma has started laterally to move toward the uh, you know, Sunduka crater uh, series, anywhere in that line up down to the Grindavik, we may have eruption. So the lateral movement has started, swelling of the uh, that uh, under the Swartzengi will almost reach equilibrium, and then we will have the eruption. This is, shows also over the uh, several past eruptions how it swells up, then comes down, swells up, and comes down. The eruption will be along this line that I'm showing, probably more toward the Sundunka uh, crater, which is to, uh, slightly to the left. And here again, you see that these are the likely locations that we may have eruption. And uh, even there is a possibility of an eruption in the sea. We will not see it, of course, it will be pillow levels. People are afraid of that. I don't think there is a reason. We have these examples of them happening already in the sea. We have seen them in Hawaii and elsewhere. Underwater eruptions practically create pillow lavas. And uh, it may shatter the lava in a form of, you know, create ash and other things, but it will not add to the explosivity of the, the reaction. Uh, it just, uh, the volatiles inside the magma actually cause the expansion and explosivity. Water will not add anything to that. So the likelihood of eruption on the sea, we will not see it probably most likely. If you see it, 
we are lucky. In the green dovic, we may have also, but the likelihood of it is less because the magma has to travel longer to reach there. This is, again, I'm, I'm emphasizing, this is a, practically what we are seeing uh, is a sequence of the ophiolite. And uh, the same things happens. We have the magma source, we have the dark swarm of the darks, and then we have the areas that the magma will erupt. 